Welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense. I had been looking for John Featherman, and I had been wondering where he was at. Not that I was concerned about him, because I'm not concerned about demons, and I will never show sympathy for the devil, but he's back out now. And Did you see his new look? He looks like somebody who just got out the pen to me. I mean, if you were saying we have a suspicious-looking suspect, you see a picture of John Featherman, you say he got to be guilty or something. I mean, I don't know what kind of law he broke, but it's obvious by looking at the pic. If you put him in a lineup and just go get running the people who somebody committed a crime against, he'd get picked out the lineup. Looks like a rapist or a criminal or something. But he's back out. Some about he lost a bet with his child or something. I don't know what it was. By a trick, but he shaved off his goatee and he looks really, really weird. He don't even look like the same dude. Now, some people say he looked like the fella from Breaking Bad. Well, it's possible he, he kind of favors him a little. He looks like that guy from Breaking Bad, but the sad part is that ain't the look he was going for because we got some video clips, a montage of, of uh, John Featherman in honor of John Featherman. But personally, I think John Featherman. Was going. Have you ever watched a little show? It's a little, um, it's an English show. Um, very, very well written. If you have never seen it, you should watch it. it had a bunch of seasons of it. It's called Huckle Paro. And to me, I think John Featherman was going for the Huckle Paro look. Ended up with Breaking Bad. This is what happened to America. We ended up with Breaking Bad uh, after we had a choice. Joe Biden is Breaking Bad too. But I put together a montage for you. And this is a montage of John Feldman. Hell no, I'm not going to show any sympathy on John Feldman. He's a devil. So this is a montage of me making fun of John Feldman. Just clips of John Feldman being John Feldman. 95, 95, 95. Bingo. And then he introduces Joe Biden. Just look at this, the expression on Joe Biden's face when he introduces him. He introduces him as a collapsed bridge. I almost lost it when I heard that. And he then he starts reading like we got some fairy tale stories we're gonna read to you. Mary had a little lamb, fleet was right as snow, and then he started with Jack and Jill went up the hill. Just look humped and dumped it fell off the wall. Take a listen to this montage of John Featherman being John Featherman. Is is it staggering is it a staggering response responsibility that the, the, the head of a bank could literally could literally crash our economy. It's astonishing. Uh, no, I I, I uh, would, would, would just um, really like to, you know, the 95, 95, 95. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was in the foot, him, uh, foot, foot, excuse me, the foothills of the Himalayas. I called to this hearing of the U.S. Senate Subcommittee and Food and Nutrition, especially crops, organics, and research to order. Chairwoman Stevenow. And ranking member Boozman, thank you so much for coming. I thank you for your leadership on this committee, and I look forward to working with you to pass a farm bill. A farm bill that works for small far farmers. I'm standing next to the president again, next to a, a collapsed bridge here. And he is here to commit to work with the, the governor and the, the, the delegation to make sure that we get this fixed quick, fast as well, too. This is the, the delegation to make sure that we get this fixed quick, fast as well, too. This, you know, um, you know, obviously that, you know, you're pretty much preoccupied with the with 95. And I, know, I certainly am, too. And we know it's a major, uh, you know, the 95. 95, 95, you know, 95, 
95, 95, you know. This is a president that is committed to infrastructure. Yeah, and then on top of this, this is a president that is committed to infrastructure. That uh, the, the jewel uh, kind of a uh, uh, law of the inflation uh, bill that is going to make sure that there's going to be bridges all across like this, all across the American reason. We're here for one simple reason. President Biden needs to consider using the 14th Amendment uh, if necessary. The entire GOP death ceiling negotiation is a sad charade. And that's exactly what's wrong about what's wrong in Washington. We're playing with the livelihoods of millions just so the GOP can just turn the screws against us. Hungry Americans. This is the whole reason why the 14th Amendment exists. We need to be prepared to be using it. Again, remember, say that again. We must be prepared to, in order to use it. And we cannot let reckless Republicans hold the economy as a hostage. And an unelected Supreme Court justice will try to blow up our governor. To now, I have heard from Pennsylvanians about their support for a snap. Hunger is not a Republican or a Democrat issue. It's all of our issue that we have to take it on. We need to come together and stop playing political games with Americans access to food. Americans like chair about Corey Jor from the north to the town of Northeast in Pennsylvania. He tells me that his victim was skimming, which was with somebody stole money and he relied from its SNAP EBT. Yeah, and then on top of that, uh, the, the jewel uh, kind of a uh, uh, law of the inflation uh, bill that is going to make sure that there's going to be bridges all across like this, all across the America getting rebuilt. Mr. Jor is not the first Pennsylvania I've heard this from. I fear he won't be the last, and I will work in this farm bill to modernize SNAP to work to recipients in the 21st century. I look forward to from hearing from you, your witness on this new strategy, my assistance on the farm bill, and I will now turn to Senator Braun for any opening comments that he would like to make. That's like if you have... I mean, like, uh, and and they also realize is that 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 now they have it's in a guaranteed a guaranteed way to be saved by no again by no matter no matter by by how you know so it, it's it's you know isn't it appropriate that the those kinds of the, this kind of control should be more stricter to prevent this kind of thing from going or should we just go on and start bailing and sailing whoever bank regardless of how, how there's, their conduct is. You know, I'll give you an example. I'm standing next to the president again, next to a collapsed bridge here. And he is here to commit to work with the governor and the, the, the delegation to make sure that we get this fixed quick, fast as well too.